All right. <clears throat> In order to connect your Ubuntu virtual machine to GitHub, first of all, you create a GitHub account, create a GitHub repo repository. Um, then you create a GitHub personal access token and uh, you keep it in a safe place because you will need it. And then you create an EC2 instance and you save uh, your SSH key in a folder where you want to operate. And then you SSH into your virtual machine in that folder. Right? But before I start, I will step two that's there to create a personal access token and keeping it safe. I will do that. I will show you how it's done. So you go to your GitHub, right? Um, come down here to setting, right? And then you go over here to developer setting. Come here, token classic, I think. Alright, I have one that I'm using currently, but you can create a new one. Then you just give it a name, any name you want to give it. Click on this and generate the token. So let me call it test and then generate. You can take this and you save it somewhere. Alright, don't delete this. Right, but um, this is the old, the one I'm currently using, but this is the one I just created that I don't need, so I'll delete it. I still have my old one. Um, for you, don't delete yours. You can come to my notepad and then save it somewhere here, because I'll need it later. Right. Um, so let's go. Go to your instance that you've created, Ubuntu instance. Make sure you create Ubuntu. When I, when I say Ubuntu, I mean give it whatever name you want to come here. Don't use Amazon, use Ubuntu. Um, you can get a key pair. Or create one make sure you tap that and um, launch so that's that so as it starts running and two over two is passed you connect Let me check the security group. Okay, port 80 and port 22 is allowed. All right, that's good. Come here, control, control L to clear. So the first thing you want to do is this. The next is git version. initialize ls a all of these documents you want to put them in a git ignore file so that it's not you don't put them in your you don't get to push them to your repository dot git ignore so nano dot git Ignore. 
Control X, come back here, copy them. Nano dot git ignore. Control V. Control O. Enter. Control X. Now. Now, if I say git status. They are showing. Hmm, how do I uh, let's go back to nano. I think you have to list them. You can't just I think that's how you have to do them. So control O and so control X. Here's the git status again. As you can see, um, you can't see them anymore. They are hidden. The only thing you can see is your git ignore, which is good. You don't want to put those things in your repo so that uh, someone, because they contain, um, they could contain things that if someone has can harm your account right so let's create a new document touch tests dot txt need status so we have two things that needs to be added and committed so we can do git commit dash m a right you see m a again first commit hmm I can't remember the code for committing and adding at the same time so let me add I add both of them I had not commit so they've been added to git status shows me <coughs> now I do git commit dash m they've been committed now the only thing that is left is to be is to push them to the remote repository but in order to push them i have to connect my <coughs> local repository to the remote repository which is where we will need the the code we got earlier and this is how you you use it you get your code you copy it and then you replace it here in this code replace it here then this should be your username a 2 back 400 is my github username so if you go to github you can see a 2 back 400 a 2 back 400 so use your own github username where is it all right so you have git remote add origin https at your username the code you just got right and then um, github.com then your username again then your repo name so you go to your github to copy the rest so for me this is my repo name all right i come here paste to here 
Good, I have that. Now you copy this, and this is what you use to um, add. What's it called? You use it to add or connect your local repository with your remote repository. So, uh, but before you do that, we want to see if there's already a connection, right? If there's already a remote repository connected to this um, virtual machine, there is none. So now you go back, you copy this. Where is it? And you paste it there. Right, this will not work because remember I deleted the key. So I will I will have to use my own key. Alright. So I'll go there. I already have a key here. I can use I can copy that paste. But uh something is wrong and I have to change the name. What is the name of my repo again? What is the name? So now that is done. Okay, there's also a mistake here. Origin and HTTP has to have a space. Now I check again. So now it's telling me it's connected and I can fetch and I can push, right? Um, the next thing I want to do is to do git branch to see which branch is my repository, master or main. It's on master, right? So what I need to do is to push my master it has been pushed now if I come here and refresh as you can see everything has been pushed if I go into my git uh, these documents cannot be accessed they are all text here so but this yeah, is there. So basically, I've created a GitHub repository for my virtual machine. Now, the this one I use before the uh, the video started. I already got this um, token from my GitHub account. But now that you've seen it, I will have to go and delete it and create a new one. So basically that's that. Alright, wish you the best. Subscribe.